pickup. So it's Cypher Sigma here, and yes, this is a payday pickup. So this, I recently got paid, I got paid on a Tuesday this week, which is a bit of a change. Um, and decided on a weeknight to go out and a bout. I had a mile of stuff to do. There's a lot of bits I'm kind of prepping and planning for and stuff for my wife's birthday and a few other bits. So I needed to go here, there and everywhere. So I went out. So on this voyage, unfortunately I didn't have time to go to HMV, but I did go and get my comics. And I did go to CEX. Um, I did have some stuff to trade in from recently that I bought and stuff to make the price of that shit. I bought like... There's one item I wanted and I bought a few, like the Musketeer series, I wanted season three and I got season one, two and three and I managed to trade one and two in for like three pound or two, three pound. So it, it meant like seven quid for season three, which was at least eight pound with CEX. I'm so glad to, to have done that and I had a few things. I had about 16 pound worth of it. It was just a few DVDs that I'd had stuff off. So it was like a Power Rangers one and a box and stuff. And so I sold all, traded all them. Um, but let's get into the footage now. So here we are in CEX. Thought I'd start off with the series first. So there's the 100. There's a few of the series of the 100 I do actually need in here. But I'm missing five. Um, so trying to buy series to kind of finish them off. So, But I've got so many and I keep buying. So I'm trying to kind of keep myself reserved. Bill, anybody remember that? And Batwoman, I think £8 that was. Quite expensive still. And Legends of Tomorrow. Which I only found out after this. I do need the last few series, but I don't think they had it. Um, obviously, looking to downsize the collection as well. So I'm always looking at box sets and stuff. Look, I have most of it, so I can shrink them down. Never heard of the Coronam. I thought my wife might like that. I'll have to remember that one. Another Batwoman, one eight pounds. It's still quite expensive. Doc Martin, Futurama. See, Family Guy, I do like and look at the box sets and I think, oh, that's cool. But then when you look at them, they're not that. Fear of the Walking Dead, I do need to, to get back into that. I do have season one and two. I've watched season one. I liked it. Again, the rest of it, probably maybe something for next year. Obviously, if I buy the whole box, it ain't going to be cheap. Um, but I can trade. I do have a lot of the box sets that will probably trade in. So I do have that. Uh, Bewitched there, called a the midwife, Criminal Minds, do like that, me and my wife put to about season six. Um, CSI, I do need the last three seasons of that, but they're really hard to come by. The Good Wife, love that series, a bit of a poor ending. Gotham was a good series as well, a nice superhero one, but wasn't, kind of took a different angle. As obviously Bruce Wayne is a teenager. There's Jack White in Game of Thrones. Grim. Grim is one I do need to start. I have the first few series. Is it one people would recommend? Let me know in the comments down below. And then some more behind me. Lost. Seeing that. I do like it. Line of Duty was good except for the last episode. Loof was quite a good series as well. So uh, Top Shelf was quite a good lot. My name is Earl. A great series. And there's Prime Evil as well. One series I have most of Only Falls and Horses. Obviously, I've got a special box set. Um, but yeah, fair few and yeah, just Agents of Shield. I need to check because I need the first few shoes. So we are at the Blu rays. So yeah, start off with the letters first. Obviously, it goes from left to right, the full shelf. So you'll see I'll go in order. Yeah, James Bond, not a massive James Bond fan, do have some of them. Obviously, Checking out the animes for my list as well. Operation Condor, do like it. If it goes under six pound, I'll definitely buy that, but not at eight because I'm tight. Some would say there's more anime. Uh, the last DCU movie, Aquaman. I'll pick it up cheap. Ajin. Thought it was all right. It's season two. I haven't got season one, so I didn't pick it up. And there's obviously Avengers collection and Attack on Titan. Um, again, they've still got quite a lot of good movies there. Jewel, never seen it. Again, one to pick up, but it's £6. It's Maybe if it was a five of that kind. Kind of is my cheapo limit to pay for something. Um, got some Dragon Ball C Super there. 
obviously five I do need it is ten quid. Hopefully it will come down a little bit and I can snap it up and then I've almost clicked that. Hunter X Hunter, this is another series on my list, but this is only volume four. So I'm not going to start purchasing that yet. House, great series. Hugh Laurie. <laughs> more anime. Fine. Yeah, a lot more randomy series there. The latest Hunger Games, I didn't think much to. You can see my review if you go into my 2024 movie reviews. The Leaf Weapon the movies. Again, okay, no, 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 yeah, Prey. Obviously, I got the bootleg copy from AJ, so I do need to upgrade that at some point, but we shall see. Stone Cold. Has anybody heard of that movie? I've never heard of it. it Seems quite interesting, so picked it up. Yeah, and still looking at Pokemon there. Like you're still finding a lot of stuff on. Not many massive box sets. They do have some behind the counter. Uh, the Breakfast Club. I do like the Breakfast Club, but then I'm trying to cut down space, not increase it. Uh, oh, there we have Batwoman season two for six pounds, two pound cheaper than a DVD. Go figure. Uh, Barbarella I saw earlier this year. The Born Collection. Again, tempted, but it only takes away two spaces if that's because it's quite a bulky box set. And I think it's only only the three movies, maybe, so you only save a space. Uh, let's be all berserk, another series on the list to get. Um, Exterminator, I never heard of, but I thought I'd give it a look. They've got nice new Dragon Ball ones. These do look really nice, but it's another rabbit hole to go down to. Uh, Hammer Town Hunger Games. I've got them. Harry Potter. As you see, I've got that in a previous video. And Dark Material. I do need that volume. But decided to think about it. Yeah. Paddington, a bit of Pokemon, Paprika. Um, obviously, you previously bought Paprika anyway. Great movie. Pass size point break, perfect blue. One of my list, 45 quid. It is a very weird but expensive film. So, that, yeah, I'll wait until I can hopefully find a cheaper one than 45 quid. Uh, Swamp Thing. Never seen it, obviously seen the animated series and stuff. I'm very tempted to pick this up um, as I've never seen it. I'd like to have it in the collection as it's comic book related. Scanners, kind of remember it as a kid when I shouldn't have been able to watch it. I think my dad had it on, on VHS. And then more into it. Yeah, just come across random ones that you never kind of heard of. Uh, Babylon, obviously, I, again, I, one I got a copy of. Bell, that seemed quite intrigued. Um, on the fence of that, but you'll find out in another video whether I picked that up or not. Blue Beetle, obviously, I got the special edition from AJ. Thank you very much for him, the Steelbook. Um, and then we've got Big Bang Theory. And there's a few more volumes of The Flash. Fast and Furious, more anime. Four Musketeers, I'm a big Musketeer fan. I don't own that one. But again, so much stuff I try, I'm try. i trying to kind of stick to my finish off series, downsizing stuff and anime if I can. Unless it's a film I really, really liked. Because as you say, you find it, you'll pick it up. It'll be a really good movie. It only recently come out. And it's so expensive and it'll drop in price quite quickly. Sorry about Paul. Memoirs, a great anime, but a special edition, which is expensive. And again, takes up too much space. So try it. So not Manhunter, obviously, uh, Matt V Movies gave me that copy. And I really like that. Obviously, had the bloke who played Grissom from CSI. 
you know, a bit of Rick and Morty. Rick, I do love it. Obviously, I love Back to the Future, but don't own any of it. I'm tempted to go down that rabbit hole. Um, the Star Treks, again, I only have Star... I do have to start all the Star Treks and Star Wars. I would like to get a box set to condense them all in. But, you know, the, they only have like three of the movies and it's just, I, you know, I kind of would like all nine on a box set for like 40 quid or something. But I have to keep looking. Cat person, I think that was or something. Cat. Cujo. Obviously heard of it, never ever watched it. Again, this is why I always have a big collection. It's always good to watch films that you've never seen or... When you find them to add to the collection, Friday the 13th. So again, another kind of collection I don't really own. Would like to find a cheap box set. Um, Formula One. And we have the final series of The Flash. I do need this. I have everything except that. But again, I've got seven and eight to watch. So should I invest in nine? Obviously, 10 quid is what I paid for the others. But I think it's only 12 episodes. So it kind of makes me want to hold off. It follows a bit of horror there. Joker, Jumanji. A bit of drama. Joyride, still love Joyride, but wait for that to come down. Thought it was quite funny, yeah. We've got the Missions Impossible again. I would like to upgrade them, but I kind of want one with like six or seven or almost all of them in just to downsize the space. Uh, some Resident Evils. See, I bought the box set of them Them recently. There it is. Um, oh, I don't want this in store. Some more anime there. Sopranos. Secret Life of Pets. Supergirl and Spider-Man. And then we've got the Condemned Stone Cold Steel Austin, the Crow. I think that's one of the late ones. Yeah, Salvation. Uh, the Country Series. So I only just got into this and got two of them. So I didn't know there were seven in all. So I will. I think I've seen the Nun and the Conjuring. So I'll have to look, pick up the others when I find time. Obviously, we've got five of the full box set of Grimm. Game of Thrones. <laughs> Let's do throw you off. But Galaxy Quest just recently watched that. I love that. It was a little bit cheaper. I probably would have picked it up. Uh, Knock at the Cabin. I thought it was um, Cabin in the Woods. That's the one I kind of liked. That was a good, great movie. Chris Hemsworth. Newsroom. I hear quite good things about the newsroom. Jeff Daniels. I think he's quite a good actor. Well, he's playing more serious. I weren't the biggest fan of Dumb and Dumber. I had a Terrify there. My friends really like horror ones. That is one I will probably pick up at some point. They live. Thank God I didn't pay that amount of money for it. And yeah, we're almost close to the end. Obviously, the X-Men movies. Young Ones. Wizard of Oz. Walking Dead. Westworld. Again, another series I need to go back to. I think that was three of the four seasons. And Wish was a great, great animated series. I know it got canned and didn't make a lot of money, but I really liked it. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Total Recall. There we go. And that is the CEX of going through the Blu-ray. Going through my normal kind of usual sort of um, looking and stuff. Obviously, I did trade everything in. I did use everything in. And then I got an item on top. So it's only four things. So it's quite a small video. So the first thing I did is this so this is kind of an upgrade so i have so funny enough i have only season one to eight of the big bang theory um on dvd um so because i have um the, only the series of one to eight on dvd um this upgrade was perf perfect um perfect way to upgrade a it decreases size as you all know i'm trying to do that and obviously i have eight Boxes. I think it halves it at least, if not a little bit more. Um, and then on top of that, obviously it was only five pounds, so it's really cheap. Now, while I was looking, um, I've been talking about AJ. It's like my main thing of this year is to try and finish series and obviously do my anime side of things. 
So because we've been talking about, there's a lot of talk of Superman and stuff all around and that, um, I realised that I had and recently got two of the last three seasons of The Flash. And then when I looked back, found out that I didn't have the last two season, seasons of Legends of Tomorrow. I have all of Arrow, I have all of Supergirl. And the only other one outside of that is Batwoman. So finally down to £6 season two, even though it's been 10 for ages. So I bought that, but not only did I buy that, they had season three for £6 as well. So I thought, why not? I think it's the same actress in this, Lee's two, but, you know, she replaces the other lady. Um, but I'm happy to see how it goes. I didn't mind. I know there's like Batwing and stuff in there, so I quite look. So that finishes that one off, and I've got that. I've got a lot to do. And then the final one for me to pick up, is this so this was on my list on my own private list and obviously dragon ball z super so this is the re most recent movie from dragon ball z that i went to see in the cinema it's funny because it has this surrounding so superhero is actually about um different characters i think if i'm if memory says right unless i'm getting confused um but yeah glad to have this glad to have the steel book i said it was a tenor It'd been in there a while when it'd been dropped i think from 14 to 12 to 10 so why not so i could chase up so only four so i used so these three covered my voucher plus 10p and then obviously this was 10 pound of my voucher so i have like 35 quid left uh, which is still good from the 150 or whatever i had before and that has been my payday pickups uh let me know in the comments down below if there's any anything you saw in the video that you think i should pick up or you know was a bargain um, otherwise, I've been Cypher Signal Screen Time, and I shall see you in the next one.